guys welcome back to the channel my name is tom and in today's episode we are going to be talking about imaging last night so we've had a real cloudy week in england it's not been very nice so uh, we we managed to get one night of imaging i think i took 42 frames five minute exposures uh, in the end i deleted one of the images and we ended up with three hours and 25 minutes of the bubble nebula i'll show you that image at the end of the video um, but we've got some other really interesting things that we're going to be doing in today's episode so uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'd also like to explain a bit more about my channel. So, you know, learning astrophotography, guys, this is for you to come along and learn from my mistakes, you know, because I'm, like I say, I'm very new to this uh, and I, I want you guys to learn with me. You know, there was a comment that, that made me feel a little bit, I suppose, irresponsible, if you like, you know, um, and it was where I was using the Dremel and I was cutting around a tin and I didn't have any eye protection. You know what, guys, I'm not saying, don't do what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, I want you guys to learn from from me if you can and i want to learn from you guys as well with your comments you know uh, i know astro shed a uh, big shout out to you mate because your advice is top notch guys go over to astro shed's channel because yeah he's got a really nice setup yeah really really clean rig looks lovely and you'll get some great little tips off of him as well so yeah like i say the channel is more about you coming along on the journey with me whilst I learn about astrophotography, you know, I'm throwing myself into this 100% and I won't stop, you know, I'm gonna keep on going. People wanna say, you know, you should change your title, you know, your intro, or, you know, learn astrophotography. Um, it is about learning astrophotography. You know, this is what my channel's about. It's about me learning astrophotography. You know, I said this all along. I wanted this channel to be about, about me learning trying to come up with different solutions for you guys and that's what i'm trying to do so uh, you know so don't take everything i say as gospel it's that's not the case you know i'm just saying about what my experiences are uh, so i hope you enjoy the video we'll, we'll just carry on like like i always do you know there's nothing wrong with a bit of criticism uh, i think it's healthy I think criticism works well in laying a good foundation for somebody to learn from. You know, I'm happy to take criticism, so don't don't feel, you know, you can't say something to me if if you if you disagree with what I'm saying. I'm happy to to take advice and correct my videos if need be. But this was my journey, and for you guys to see how my journey goes, really, and that's it. All right, guys. So if anyone's watched any of my videos, you'll know that I struggled to get my ASI Air working with the AVX and CGX mount. So I've had this. I say it's still brand new. Everything's still in the box. And do you know what? It's a lovely bit of kit. My my wife got it for me for Christmas. Bless her. It's time that we got it sorted, isn't it? She was absolutely gutted that I, I came in and I was disappointed that I, I couldn't use it. So I've gone and treated myself again, and I? And uh, here we go. First box, right, obviously is ZWO in it. We're not even gonna go into the pronunciation of names. So I've got a couple of items. This is all purchased with my own money. No one's helping me buy this stuff, just me working hard. All right, so as soon as you, as soon as you see this, you know what I've got. So there we go, ZWO tripod. And it is exciting because I've been talking, I've been talking about, actually I haven't been talking about it for that long. Oh, there we go. So it's got a little bag that'll go underneath the tripod. I'm terrible, I keep all my boxes. My wife says to me, what are you keeping all the bloody boxes for? Why not? What a beautiful finish. Guys, I'm not sure how well you're gonna see this, but look at that carbon fiber finish. That really is stunning. You get your little tripod hammock. But yeah, tripod's lovely, really nice. Good quality. I, I actually think, guys, that I ordered the wrong item. I was rushing because of the Astro Fest that's going on. Simon was getting ready to go and I was being impatient and wanted to get this delivered this week so I could I could do a new video because it was cloudy and it wasn't very nice, you know. Did I buy the wrong item? I, yeah, I think I have. Yeah, I did. Ah, oh, damn it. I wasn't meaning to get the 294. I was meant to be buying another uh, 2600 uh, MC Pro, but the dual. I'm sure the widescreen center will understand when I send it back, you know. Now, guys, you know that I said when I was actually looking at the uh, ZWO stuff that I wanted to buy myself the AM3 Red Cat Edition. And I wanted to buy the Red Cat Edition because I'm a bit of a sucker for anything that's limited edition. However, this is what I purchased. 
I got the ZWO AM5. Uh, reason why I got it was the payload. Look at this, heavy load capacity, 13 kilos without a counterweight, and it goes up to 20 kilos with a counterweight. I mean, that thing is insane. We're gonna stick on the uh, little Williams Optics, the Zenith Star 61 uh, with the field flattener. For me, is gonna be a lovely little setup. Simple to run out in the garden. Everybody that's into astrophotography knows it's not cheap well when you start getting into astrophotography and buying multiple rigs it gets a lot more bloody expensive guys also do you like my t-shirt you can't buy happiness but you can buy a telescope and that's pretty much the same thing <laughs> it comes in this beautiful case it's actually it is really really quite nice yeah we'll have a little look and see what's inside also purchased a little uh, a little mount for the asi air because i wanted to put the asi air on the side of the uh, AM5. Right guys, so let's have a little look into this one, shall we? So uh, we've got the case, um, which is re really is quite stunning. And let's have a little look inside, shall we? So it's got a foam lining inside of it all. Oh, it had a bloody mount on the side of it. So it, it actually had, so it actually had one of these on the side of the ASI. And there we go, guys, look at that. That is beautiful. That really is stunning. Really happy with that. We'll jump back into it, but I mean, just just straight away, looking at build quality again, um, stunning. You know, like all ZWO stuff. Uh, so ZWO now making these mounts. I think it's only going to get better from that company. They really are uh, a step above a lot of others, becoming in a very affordable bracket. I'll catch up with you in a minute. And we'll set it all up. Okay, guys. So we've got a tripod and. Uh, we are now going to unscrew the bottom of this. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you what we're going to unscrew. So we're going to unscrew this section. What we're doing is we are taking apart what screws into this section from underneath of here. Okay. Just like that. That part is taken off. We'll just set that aside for the time being. Because we can then unlock this section. So we're going to unlock it. Then this bit gets removed. Which looks like a little alloy wheel. Okay, so once we've done that, we'll stick that aside. And we're going to connect our AM5 to this it really is a master craftsman piece you know i actually love it i love the color i love everything about it so far and there we go guys that is the am5 and the first thing we're going to do is on the bottom here it has three allen screws what we're going to do is we're going to take those out they come loose straight away and then what we want to do is we want to get our little alloy wheel what we're going to do is we're going to stick that on like this. So once I've got that there, I've got my screw in there. I'm just going to line it up to the first one. And then in the box, you get Allen keys. We call them Allen keys here. I think in America you call them Allen wrenches or hex wrench. Hex wrench, is it? I think it is. And then what we can do is we can then apply a little bit of pressure. Don't have to go nuts with it, you know. So that's tight enough. And there we go, we've got our alloy wheel onto the bottom of the mount, which then will look like so. And what's great about that as well is you don't need to do that every time. So that still goes inside. It goes inside of there without any problems. But I think what I'm gonna do with mine is I'm gonna just do it so that in line with the front leg, I'm gonna try and line it up as best possible with that. Is I'm going to actually line mine up. See, if you've got a good eye, you should be able to line it up with your locking nut. So I think, guys, this is how I would line mine up. So I would line mine up with the actual locking nut here. And you just turn that, and it will lock into place. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take this part off. So a lot of people actually put that part inside uh, because it goes up further i don't think it's going to matter too much it came that way but i am gonna i'm gonna do what people do so just from under here we're gonna screw it into place so we stuck our leg spreader on and that's nice and tight guys that is sturdy that's that's not going to go nowhere you unlock these side 
pieces here and that allows you to rotate. Don't hold me to that guys, I don't 100% know myself. I put my hex wrench back in the bag or as us British people call them, Allen keys. I don't know why we call them Allen keys but maybe they was made by a guy called Allen. So you see just here we've got a bracket. So this doesn't have any adjusters so you can't actually move any of this around. Um, you know like you like you would when you're used to using a uh, an equatorial mount. You know, I can't just adjust it. <laughs> this is going to be where we're going to stick the ASI Air. So we'll grab the ASI Air now. I want it so it reads correctly, you know, so I'm going to do it this way. I'll we'll unscrew these. That's not the easiest to do up, especially when you've got massively fat fingers like me. To be honest with you, I wouldn't take this out in the field straight away anyway. Uh, I'll probably mess around with it in the garden to start with just get the hang of it get the hang of what it does what it's capable of doing I just thought it'd be nice to take you along on a couple of trips I can't go on trips at the moment uh, I've got a diabetic dog I wouldn't say my wife is terrified of injecting a dog it's not a nice job you know uh, I have to do two injections a day for him you know, seven o'clock in the morning and seven o'clock every night so uh, it, it does become a little bit much and, and he's now gone blind uh, we don't know how long he's got left really. He's on the maximum dosage now as well of his medicine, uh, of his insulin. Usually they, they can only last you usually around a year to two years and we, he was diagnosed three years ago now so uh, quite some time ago. It's going to be a bit of a tough year I think because uh, he's my, my baby, my first proper baby. I actually bought him for the wife and he just latched on. I, I don't like to think about it if I'm honest. It's not, it's not a nice thing to think about. I uh, love my boy uh, to pieces, so anyway, where was we? Okay, so we've got the ASI Air uh, all plugged into it now, look, there we go. Look at that, lovely jubbly. Let's get our telescope out. A Zenith Star Williams Optics 61. Beautiful telescope. Beautiful optics. What's lovely about this one is obviously because it's so small, I can just take it out as and when I need it. So super exciting, super exciting. A little 120 millimeter guide, and that's it fully extended with the little do shield. Alright guys, so I'm not going to mess about with it too much, but I've connected the guide camera, I've connected the mount and the ASI Air. I didn't need to have the you know, telephone cable thing, uh, which I thought I did for some reason. Um, however, I've still got a bit of cable management to deal with, just to make it look a little bit tidier, you know how it is. Uh, I'll tell you what, it, it sounds like a spacecraft. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to mess anything up right now. Uh, and I can do a more in-depth video on running the AM5 if, if that's what you guys want. Uh, happy to do that, it's not a problem. But all in all, it's a lovely little setup then. So, you know, I've got two cracking, well, I've got three cracking setups really. The C8, I mean, I don't give it enough credit. You know, the C11 and then the Williams Optics uh, with the AM5. I think this is, a, this is a completely new era. You're going to be able to have people just jump onto this and be able to run it straight away which is fantastic but guys i'm proper happy with that what do you think but yeah all connected really easy budget wise you don't mind spending a bit of money this is a cracking little number to get because it hold like i say it holds a huge amount of weight so it can hold 13 kilos on top of this mount without a counterweight and it goes up to 20. i mean that is insane for such a small uh, mount packs a punch mate and it's decent looks cracking build quality 
phenomenal. This is better than what I was expecting. And I love that the colour coordination that I've got going on with it as well. I went with the M5 because the next telescope I'm going to get is going to be a little bit heavier. I wanted to make sure that I was well covered for the time being. Go and enjoy it out in the back garden. Cloudy night and there. Typical weather. Yeah, you're treated to clouds. So, uh... I won't be using it tonight. I'm going to stick it into the telescope room with the other telescopes for the time being. I'll be straight out there practicing with it and learning what's what. There's some really great features with the ASI Air Plus. So guys, that's it for today's episode. Like I said to you earlier, here's the bubble nebula from last night's imaging. It was only 42 frames, uh, 3 hours and 25 minutes, 500 seconds at 75 gain. Uh, I hope you like the image, like I say. Be a bit gentle with me, you know. I like I said, I'm not that good at processing stuff at the moment. I'm getting better. I, you know, I'm trying to learn, trying to keep my photographs as natural as possible. I do use the flares though, which is a little bit cheating, but you know, like the, the spikes. Check this out. Tell me what you think. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching.